Hello, everyone. My name is Kenji Bunch, and I want to welcome you to tonight's episode of the Portland Social Distance Ensemble. Uh, I'm here with my buddies Greg Ewer and Ron Blessinger from 45th Parallel, and we're going to present some violin duos. They're, they're going to play. I'm going to sit here and, and listen and tell you a little bit about them. Um, these are some duos that I wrote for, for them and uh, it's part of a, a larger project. Uh, I'm trying to write 44 short violin duos. And the reason for that number is there's a very famous uh, uh, collection of 44 duos by the great composer Bela Bartok. And kind of in the spirit of those duos and as an homage to Bartok, I wanted to contribute my own set and they're influenced, Bartok's works are influenced by his extensive work as an ethnomusicologist in Central and Eastern Europe. And uh, so there's a, a lot of really interesting, unusual folk material. Uh, I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a, a sort of contemporary American version of that uh, using the influence of vernacular American styles uh, into short duos for two violins that are approachable for students. This is some of the first ensemble playing that I experienced as a young violinist. Uh, my brother and I would play the Bartok duos together. And so I was mentioning this project idea to, it was just an idea a few years ago, and I mentioned it to Greg, and he said, well, how about you, you write some for 45th Parallel? So I did, and we're gonna hear some of those now. The first one, is influenced by uh, bluegrass and uh, folk American fiddling. Um, so you'll see some, some bluegrass techniques. And actually, Greg is, uh, has his violin tuned differently. Uh, that's something that's pretty common among fiddlers to retune their instruments. We don't see that much in classical music, but uh, it's a pretty common thing to do for fiddlers. Uh, so we're going to start out with a, a, the first duo in the collection. It's called Dry County Line. one I wrote. Now we're going to go to the most recent one that I wrote just earlier this spring. Uh, this was premiered by Greg and Ron in March. By the way, that's Greg retuning his instrument because as you can hear it was extremely tuned differently. to tune down to a, an E, tune the G string down to an E on that first tune. Um, during classical pieces, that's known as scordatura. And if you're in a bluegrass jam, it's, hey, Buford, 
Hold on a second, I got to tune the fiddle down. <laughs> this next tune is Wildflower. Beautiful guys, thank you. Uh, so Wildflower was the most recent of the duos I've written. I wrote it earlier this spring for a concert that uh, 45th Parallel gave at the beginning of March. And uh, funny to think about that. I, I was supposed to attend that concert, but I got really sick. Not, uh, you know, uh, that kind of sick, but um, I, was, I was sick. I ended up with pneumonia and whatever. But um, uh, it, listening, it makes makes us think about um, that live concert experience, and of course, uh, that's that's all on hold now. But we're so lucky to have this platform uh, where we can have these live experiences in this way. Uh, so, once again, whether you're joining us on Facebook Live or on YouTube, uh, this is the Portland Social Distance Ensemble. My name is Kenji Bunch. I'm the the guy who wrote this music tonight. Uh, this is Greg Ewer and Ron Blessinger on violin, uh, playing violin duos. Um, and I should mention, uh, it, if you're on YouTube, or even if you're not on YouTube, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, there's a, a new concert every week. Uh, it's it's pretty, pretty amazing work that 45th Parallel does. And so uh, be a subscriber, check it out, and uh, it's, it's just a, a really neat thing in the community and uh, accessible worldwide. Um, now we're going to go to uh, uh, a song I wrote called Shave Ice. And for anyone who's been to Hawaii, you, uh, you know what that treat is. Uh, sh shave, it's a special machine that, that really uh, thinly shaves ice and you have all these flavored syrups and it's just, uh, just what you need on a a warm day at the beach uh, and gosh doesn't that sound good right now so uh, I was trying to write something that uh, evoked uh, ukuleles and island music and so we're going to uh, close your eyes if you want 
uh, just uh, take a, a little virtual trip to Hawaii with shave ice. Uh, now, I think Greg's going to tell us about this next one. This next tune is called Nightlight for Nina. And a few years ago, when 45th Parallel commissioned the first group of duos in Kenji's project, uh, we were getting ready for the concert, and my daughter Nina was born. And uh, for one of the rehearsals, Kenji, Kenji uh, came in, and we... <laughs> Rehearsed. There's Nina, by the Hi, way. Nina. She's the one for whom this piece Hi, is Nina. named. Hi, sweetie. Um, anyway, we were rehearsing, and Kenji said, I have a, an extra duet for you, and it turns out it was uh, <laughs> this one nightlight for Nina uh, as a gift for us. Anyway, she was asleep at the time, and we walked into her room, and we played it for her. Uh, clearly, she has no recollection, but uh, <laughs> I do have a recording of it somewhere. Anywhere, uh, anyway, this next uh, tune is called Nightlight for Nina.
thanks guys. So lovely to see Nina there too. Uh, again, if you're just joining us, this is the Portland Social Distance Ensemble. I'm Kenji Bunch. This is Greg Ewer and Ron Blessinger. And uh, if you like what you're hearing, uh, consider donating to 45th Parallel. Uh, there should be links at either Facebook Live or YouTube Live where you can do that. They're bringing these live events um, every Friday night to you, uh, free of charge. So uh, there's a, a place to donate. That, that'd be a great thing to do. Um, and I, I should mention, none of this would be possible without the genius of Danny Rosenberg, who is the man behind the curtain who makes it all magically happen. I mean, this is actual musicians playing live with each other in real time, which is uh, something that uh, we're all itching to do. And this is a, a really neat way to be able to do that. And uh, just to prove that we're live and we're musicians, I'm going to play something. Um, so I'm a, a violist uh, in addition to writing music. I'm not going to play something I wrote, though. I, I, I arranged this. It's an old song. Um, uh, it's called We Shall Overcome. And it's a, an arrangement I, I did. It's a, a traditional uh, hymn that was turned into a course a protest song uh, and you know we're we're not uh, living in a vacuum here we're, we're acutely aware of what's going on and just wanted to play something that uh, supports the movement and uh, in, in solidarity with uh, people seeking equal justice and in fact uh, I've been able with this arrangement uh, I, I distribute the music for no charge uh, when people donate to Campaign Zero. Been able to raise over $1,000 for Campaign Zero, which works to end uh, police violence. So that's been something neat to do. Anyway, this is uh, We Shall Overcome for Solo Viola. Thank you. 
you. Okay, thanks. Um, now back to some violin duos. Uh, this next one is, uh, so I, as I mentioned earlier in the show, I, I wrote this collection of, I'm, I'm, I'm working on this collection of violin duos. I've written now 10 of them. I'm, I'm trying to get up to 44 uh, in homage to Bela Bartok's collection of 44 duos. And just as Bartok was uh, profoundly influenced by the music around him, the vernacular folk music around him, uh, I'm trying to celebrate the vernacular in music in the Americas. Um, and such a huge part of that music comes from the blues. And so uh, this is I'm sh the first of, I'm sure, what will end up being many songs. Actually, the next two are, are both uh, blues-oriented songs. This, this next one they're going to play is called Blues Day. And I took it a step further with the, the Bartok influence. There's one of my favorite Bartok duos is called Lament. And it's a slow, very melancholy, very expressive, emotive piece. And I, I wanted to kind of do that, uh, uh, sort of a corollary to that, but with a blues influence. So here's Blues Day. Right on, that was Blues Day. Uh, and the next blues-influenced song is uh, very different, but it also comes from the blues. It's called Diddly Bow. And to explain that title, a diddly bow was a makeshift instrument that uh, enslaved African parents created for their children as toys. So they'd, they'd take a piece of wood and a wire, like a, a, some, some kind of wire, and um, it, uh, maybe a, a, some kind of glass bottle or something uh, as a bridge as, to create some tension on the string, uh, pull it taut, 
and they uh, pluck the string or come up with some kind of a bow and use a, a slide so it would sound like a, a slide guitar. Uh, and so it's, it's just a one string, uh, very uh, expressive, uh, slidey instrument that uh, is, I'm trying to evoke with this, this song called Diddly Bow. Okay, that was Ron and Greg with the diddly bow. Uh, once again, this is the Portland Social Distance Ensemble, and we've got one more tune for you. These are um, violin duos that I wrote, and I'm very grateful to Greg Ewer, Ron Blessinger, for playing them tonight. Uh, very grateful to Danny Rosenberg, the mastermind behind this technology that allows us to present this concert live to you. And uh, once again, these are coming at you every Friday night on either YouTube Live or Facebook Live. Uh, so subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, donate to 45th Parallel, and uh, keep, keep on listening, because we'll keep on making music for you. We're gonna end with uh, a duo that's uh, I, maybe one of our our favorites of the set so far. I, it could be could be the the favorite. It's it's definitely the you know, one of the goofiest. It's called Melungeon Stew, and that um, uh, that word Melungeon refers to a uh, a small group of uh, Americans who. Uh, are descended from the the Roma people of Europe. Uh, so, uh, for lack of a better term, they're what we call American gypsies. And uh, so, I, I thought um, I would evoke the style of uh, gypsy jazz. Uh, we think of uh, Django Reinhardt, uh, Stefan Grappelli, that that type of playing, and. Uh, so it's, it's a, a fun piece. I hope you enjoy it. And thanks again for listening tonight. This is called Melungeon Stew.
Thank you guys so much. Thanks everyone for listening. And uh, I'm Kenji Bunch great for Greg Ewer, Ron Blessinger, 45th Parallel. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Have a great weekend. See you next Friday. <laughs>